hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I want to talk about books and therefore authors that have disappointed us so this is gonna be a lengthy one so grab your snack um, for those that care I'm eating it looks kind of weird but it's yogurt with granola and dry roasted unsalted peanuts sounds weird but it's really good Get your snack and um, let's talk about it. So, authors that have disappointed us. Well, books that have disappointed us, that really means authors that have disappointed us. I'm trying to avoid this like glare that's going on right now. It's the price I pay for wearing glasses, I suppose. I hope it doesn't annoy you guys too badly. But basically, when we talk about books that have disappointed us and therefore the authors of those books that have disappointed us, there's so many things to consider, right? I feel like it's worse when it's your favorite author or one of your favorite authors. It's such a huge letdown because as book readers, and book lovers we know that when you find an author that you just fall in love with and you become obsessed with you go back and you see what else they've written right so typically it's a book that you discover that makes you fall in love with that author because you fall in love with that book and that story so you go back and you see what else they've written and if they have a wide variety of work, if they have a lot of other books out, even if they only have one or two, you read those. You binge read those. Because, <clears throat> because now you're obsessed. And you just want to know what more they have out there, right? You just want to get your hands on it. It becomes like an addiction. Well... I think the hard part is when your favorite author or one of your favorite authors has a strong body of work but over time as they continue to release new books you know they go on your auto buy list your auto download list whatever it is you're like I don't care what they write I'm gonna buy it I'm gonna read it that's how loyal you have become that's how much you love this author the disappointment comes though when you start to notice like a pattern right I feel like sometimes when authors are very prolific, or even if they're not, but you know, as their books go on and as the number of books that they have out, you know, continues to grow, I think the frustrating part is when you start to notice a pattern or a formula in their writing. There's several authors that come to mind when I think about this. For me, it's mostly new adult authors are very prolific and have a lot of books out and it's like you fall in love with their stories and like you really love their writing but then they start to get really really formulaic on you and when you read their books you're like this feels so familiar this sounds exactly like the last book you put out and the book before that and the book before that and it's like you're plugging in the same formula and you're just changing the names of the characters maybe the settings and you know one or two things in the plot but it's the same damn book that you've written four other times doesn't that just piss you off it's lazy writing you know and it's so disappointing as a reader and the writer side of me is just like come on push yourself challenge yourself you know like push your boundaries and like Go outside of your comfort zone. Don't just get comfy and then keep writing the same story over and over with different character names. Maybe change or tweak one or two things, but it's the same damn thing. Like, a lot of times we're, we're paying, like, our hard-earned money for these stories to support the author, to support the publishing industry. We're passionate about this author and their writing and what they've produced before. You feel so cheated get pissed has anyone else 
gotten pissed. Like, especially when it's like a highly anticipated new release. And you've been waiting for a book to come out like all year. Or for like two years with some authors. And the book finally comes out and it's such a disappointment. Like, you literally go out and buy the book the second it releases. Or you pre-order it. That's what I do. I pre-order it so I can have it in my hands on release day. Or I pre-order it, you know, so I can have it downloaded to my Kindle. Literally, once the clock hits midnight, it's downloading, right? On release day. You stay up all night to read this. Like, you are so hyped. You are like, yes, I cannot wait to read this book. This is, like, one of my, or if not my most highly anticipated read of the year. Like, this author, I love this person. You start reading. And... Okay, let's say the beginning is, is strong, but you start to get that sinking feeling in your stomach, right? And your brain's like, hold on a minute. This is very familiar. <laughs> or it's just, you don't care about the characters, right? Let's say it's not like the, the author has become formulaic and dry and lazy in her writing or his writing. Let's say... There's just something like, there's no spark to the story, right? Something's just missing. You're reading it and you're like, I don't care. Like, they, they didn't make you care about the characters enough. Or there are too many plot holes. Oh my god, I hate that. When you're reading the story and it doesn't make sense at all. And you're just like, wait a second. Hmm? Hmm? One plus one is eight. Like, what's going on here? You know, you find a plot hole, you find a mistake. And this is mostly with self-published books, but there's like so many grammatical errors like characters names are wrong like you know the main character's name is destiny why is, she, is you know destiny being called charlotte in chapter five right somebody didn't edit enough those little little things that just let you down and take the enjoyment out of the reading experience take the enjoyment out of the book as a whole and make you start to doubt that author right and a lot of times when it's your favorite author, or one of your favorite authors, you're willing to give him another shot, right? And you're like, well, everybody can't like hit it out of the park every single time. You're like, I'm gonna let this go. I'm gonna let this slide. You pre-order their next book. When it happens again, let me ask you this. How many times is too many times, right? I know some people it happens once, they're done. They're like, I'm over it. I'm over this author. Like. You know, I'm so disappointed. I feel like the disappointment would really truly have to be major for you to completely take the author off your favorites list, right? Stop pre-ordering their books and just feel bitter. I feel like the disappointment would have to be huge. Like, if the book has, like, racism in it or something, you know? Or is just misogynistic as hell. Something like that. Like, something to make you, like, doubt the character of the author and you're like, wow. I could not support this, and I could not support you anymore. But, um, you give them a, another chance. For me, it's cliche, but I follow the three strikes rule. Like, okay, one strike, that wasn't that good. You know, I'm going to pre-order your next book. Let's see what you got. Once it's been three books in a row that is just, like, formulaic or dry or poorly edited, uninteresting, oh, unoriginal, unimaginative, right? It's like they literally write a book that five other people have already written. But yeah, three strikes, I'm out. I gotta go. I'm taking you off my favorites. Luckily, a lot of my favorite authors, you know, I haven't found like a lot of three strikes. Like most of my favorite authors, like they might have one or two books that I don't like as much, but I don't hate. But it's the authors that are not necessarily my favorite but their books are on my highly anticipated releases for the year list because the synopsis sounds so good or it's a follow-up book to their first book or oh my god it's the next book in a series you guys series slump second book in a series slump is a real thing and it happens so much like the first book in the series will be amazing like it'll end in a cliffhanger or end in such a way that you're like Gimme, give gimme give the next book, right? 
a book that comes to mind is The Cruel Prince. The way that book ended made me rush out and pre-order the next book. And I think the next book comes out early next year. I'm so hyped for it, right? Or has it already come out? I feel like it already came out. Did it come out already? Am I tripping? I'm telling you, I am not in YA world anymore. I have, girl, I don't know what's going on in the YA world. I don't think it's come out yet. Fallen air, right? I'm losing it. But anyways, that's the book that comes to mind. Or you're just like, oh my God, I need to get this next book. Put it in my hands, you know? And then you get that next book and you're reading it. And that sinking feeling starts and you're like, wow this sucks or even if maybe it doesn't suck but it doesn't live up to the hype or it doesn't live up to what the first book was that is the most disappointing thing most aggravating and frustrating thing in the world but let's say it's a trilogy or even like a four book or however many right you give the author another shot because you're like okay okay well this wasn't my favorite it was disappointing it let me down but you know let's see how the finale goes or let's see how the next book in the series goes Oh my goodness, that's the worst. But yeah, it's either this, the sequel thing, the sequel slump thing, or it's, you know, their first book was amazing. Sorry, had to go take care of something. Teddy, get down. What was I saying? Yeah, it's a debut author. You love their first book. So of course you pre-order their next book, right? Even if it's not a series, let's say it's a standalone. But you love that first book so much, you go ahead and you pre-order their next book, right? And it doesn't live up to the, like, the greatness of the writing, the story, the originality, just everything of the first book. It just, their debut novel is so much better than their next book, you know? As a writer, I have to say that that's one of my greatest fears. That I'll put out something and it's so amazing that nothing else can live up to it. And I can't top that and that scares me I'd rather start low and build up you know not low as in like a terrible book I still want people to like it and enjoy it but I want to get better with each book I put out and those are the authors I really admire authors who are able to get better with each book because they push themselves they challenge themselves they continue to push boundaries they get more and more imaginative and creative the story arcs get better the intricacies of the plot gets better the characters become richer and fuller like everything just gets better over time, right? It's like a fine wine, they just age so well. And that's the kind of writer that I aspire to be, but those are the books and the authors that I absolutely love, where with each release, you, you don't, you're not even like, you're not even concerned. And I have a few authors like that on my favorites list where you're not even concerned whatsoever about their next book. You just know it's gonna be amazing. You're like, whatever, I'm not worried. I'm not losing sleep. And I love authors like that. Well, that's it for this video on this mukbang mukbang however you say it I don't know I love watching these videos usually they're like in the beauty community or like gossip channels or I don't know just like vloggers do these videos a lot um, I haven't really seen it in booktube but then again I don't watch a lot of booktube videos because so this could very well may very well exist already but I thought it'd be interesting to do I'm completely done and I said I would when I'm done with my food the video would be over so I'm done video over thank you so much for watching definitely tune in for my next mukbang video mukbang <laughs> dude I need to learn how to say that before my next video and I will catch you guys later oh and in the comments let me know like what authors have let you down recently like not to be super negative but what author what authors have let you down recently what books have disappointed you recently and also what authors never let you down? Let me know about your favorite authors. I'm always on the lookout for new authors and new books to read. So definitely let me know. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Goodbye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.